What is something men think is harmless but actually pisses women off? You're cute when you're mad. Saying it must be that time of the month. For being a girl you're surprisingly really good at doing underscore underscore. Picking fights with people so you can demonstrate that you are a true alpha male. That's not very ladylike. Making us prove we are knowledgeable whenever we like something that is traditionally masculine. I like soccer and one of my colleagues quizzed me on how many players are supposed to be on the field during a game. Not in a billion years would he have done that to another man. Still pisses me off up to this day. Being told to smile. Instant rage. Once had a guy in college tell me I'd be really hot if I put some effort in the morning. 8 AM class and I was a bartender with a BF. 100% DGAF about trying to turn you on bro. Catcalling. Apparently. In high school I got into a really heated argument with a boyfriend because he insisted that women usually appreciate the compliment. Several other girls jumped in to back me up and he still tried to tell us that we were wrong. It was one of the most frustrating arguments I've ever had. Calling them baby and sweetheart like immediately after meeting. Ugh that is such a cringy thing to do when they aren't even aware of what your first name is. You're too pretty to work this job. I heard this constantly from male patients when I was a paramedic. I was the youngest paramedic they had and I was one of the few women. It isn't a compliment you twat. I worked really hard to get there. Do not fucking touch my waist or hips and excuse it by saying, just trying to scoot by. Use your words if you need to walk behind me. You wouldn't do this to a man. I know what you're doing. It's not clever. Talking over us. There is a guy in my history class who constantly interrupts me just to repeat what I've already said with bigger words that he's using wrong. The teacher lets him do it and loves having him in class. Also anytime the teacher asks something about life, for example would you still eat chicken if you had to kill it yourself, he goes, girls? Would you? Acting like it would be more difficult for us. At my old job I once had a customer old enough to be my grandfather come up to my desk and interrupt me putting in an order for another customer. He didn't want to buy anything. But starts off with I want you to know you're very beautiful. I was just like, okay, thanks? Thinking to myself maybe he's just oblivious and I remind him of his grandkid or something. But he continued, but I just want you to know that your hair and the way you dress doesn't look good on you at all. You need to try something different. You'd better look better for me next time I'm here. I paused what I was doing, stared through his soul and replied no thank you. Then went back to my work and ignored him. He suddenly looks furious oh. I guess you're mad now. Great. I told him in my best retail voice that I was working on an order for another customer. And if he wished to purchase something he could go to my boss's desk because she wasn't working on an order at the moment. Dude was totally oblivious to the fact that not only had he sexually harassed me. He had also threatened me. What if I don't look better next time? The hell you gonna do? Not date me? Not kidnap me? Throw a tantrum in the middle of the store because you don't get hard looking at someone a third of your age? He then tried to tell my boss I was pissed off for no reason. She was none too happy when I informed her what he'd actually said. Telling us to smile or relax. Insulting other women's bodies in front of us. I've had men do this around me thinking it'll boost my self-esteem if they insult factors of another woman's appearance that I don't have. For example by bullying small-chested older or larger women. All it does is put me in competition with others and makes me realize that if my physical traits were different, this man probably wouldn't respect me half as much. Or that I'll be less attractive to him if my appearance changes. It makes me feel like a commodity. Puts pressure on me and just makes the relationship feel very surface level. I don't care if your ex is now a fat cow. Keep it to yourself. At my former job I worked with a lot of volunteers. So people were being very familiar with each other. That was fine. But the amount of men who wanted to rub my shoulders without asking was insane. Why? Why would you just grab people you don't really know like that? And keep trying to do it after I tell you I don't like it? Assuming we don't know something. Then proceeding to explain it when we did. Not. Ask. There was a situation where I was picking up furniture together with my partner and my father when the guy who runs that place came up to my dad smirking and asking if I had a sister, knowing that I could hear it. That dude was at least over 50. That was so weird and unnecessary. Just wrong. 
he was that kind of guy who would label everything as a compliment or locker room talk. Telling us to smile. I'm sorry but there's no reason why any woman would ever be willing to smile because a 60 year old man told her to. Calm down when you have any reaction. Even just raising my eyebrows. I am calm. But it's okay when you get mad and punch a wall. The amount of times I've been touched sexually and then when I've kicked off been told, it's no big deal. Calm down. He's a good guy. Just tell me what chores I need to do. Just notice and act like an adult. Edit. Okay. Folks. To answer the basic questions, comments. 1. Why don't you want to communicate? Is it communication or expecting your wife to manage the household? Genuine question you should ask yourself. Managing is a full-time job. And your partner shouldn't have to bear that burden. Sitting down together and hammering out a permanent chore list is reasonable. Needing to be asked to do the dishes every week is not. 2. But I just don't notice, know what to do. If you don't know how to do a chore, Google it. Cleanopedia is great for this. This excuse works for the early stages of a relationship. And for specialized chores. But not once you've been told over and over again. Not when any person coming to your house can see that the dishwasher is full of clean dishes. With dirty ones above the counter. Not when the laundry basket is full and you're running out of clean work clothes. Not when the permanent chore list she made and sent months ago is completely ignored. Real example. If you have trouble noticing. Set an alarm called notice the chores. Go through every room of your house and check these things off your list. Floor is cleared and clean. Items that should not be there are put away. Items that should be there are neatly arranged. Surfaces, table, countertops, desk, etc. are cleared and clean. Items that get a lot of use are cleaned. Laundry, dishes, other constants are done. Washing, drying, and putting away. Children are fed, clothed, in clean enough clothes. And doing what they're supposed to be doing. One-time tasks are completed. Cooking is taken care of. Make sure to clean anything you use. Like the stove. Garbage cans aren't full. This is not everything I notice. But it's all I have the time, energy to write right now. This is what goes through my mind every time I exist in the room. I didn't start out that way. I was trained to see these things by my mother. You can train yourself. It's all about routines. 3. She doesn't think I do a good enough job. Option 1. Have her show you. Once. Film it. Watch the video the next time you need to do the chore. Put in some serious effort. Option 2. Trade chores with her. Option 3. Explain. Without dismissing her. Why you disagree with her standards of cleanliness. 4. Why does this matter so much? She divorced me because I left dishes by the sink. We'll call men, men, but women, females, it just rubs me the wrong way. Trying to catcall me. I am 13. And I've been catcalled before. Sad AF. Good girl. Edit. Not trying to kink shame anyone. Totally get it if it's a sexy thing, but I'm talking about when strangers and coworkers say it grimace. Random men who tell me to smile. Especially if they add something like how pretty you'd look if you smile. Nothing blows the top of my head off faster. Who the hell thinks it's okay to expect me to smile and look pretty for their personal enjoyment? Smile? For you? Because women should look appealing at all times to all men? Fuck off. I'm a man so I don't really know but I work on construction sites and it infuriates me when guys catcall at women going walking past. I don't know what they are trying to achieve. And every woman I've spoke to absolutely hates it. Making the same joke about us over and over again. I can take a roasting, playful banter. Most women can. But making the same comment again and again and piling on. It stops being funny and honestly starts to kill the vibe amongst guys and girls alike because it sounds like you're just straight up insulting us. If you want to be funny, come up with more material. Edit. I've had many situations where this rose up. But the main one that comes to mind was an ex making fun of me for not knowing a song from our culture in front of mutual friends for laughs. I laughed at first because it was true. I knew of the song but not well. But eventually he started pressing me to sing it. I said some of the lyrics out loud, but he kept insisting I sing while he was laughing his head off. It got to the point where everyone slowly stopped laughing and one of his mates looked at me awkwardly then started singing the song and nodding at me to join in. To ease the tension a bit. My ex still tried to justify it with it's just a joke. Cat calling. Stop it. Assuming and insisting we're mad when we're really not. 
which results in us being irritated and them saying, See, I knew you were mad when we wouldn't have been mad in the first place if they stopped insisting. Checking out other women in front if you or speaking other women in a derogatory way. Regardless of whether we're with you or not it makes us feel shitty. Well it does me anyway. Shouldn't you be watching your figure? When we're eating sweets. Fuck. Off. You look better with a smile. Being passive when seeing their friend acting inappropriately toward women. I'm a guy. So this is something I've been told, not because I did it mind you, when a girl mentions she's on her period. And you react with ew. So. Maybe this one is too specific. But if she's interacting with you because it's her job. She's not flirting with you. Also. Wearing a name tag for work does not give a stranger permission to make comments about the name. I cannot tell you how many young men thought it was okay to make some Disney princess joke to me because I had to be nice to them. It's not funny. You're not clever. And I would punch your teeth out if I was allowed. Asking me for advice on a subject I know more than you about and then completely ignoring it. Joking that we only want men with money. Any hidden insult they think is constructive criticism woman facepalming medium light skin tone. Honking or yelling out of your car window when I am walking. Pumping gas. Etc. Would be nice to do basic activities in peace. Making fun, bullying us about body hair. Maybe I'm overreacting. But when they call us females. Yes I understand that we are females. But it's like they're speaking about us in biological terms or as if we are animals. Just call us women like we call you men. Calling a woman you don't know sweetheart. Explaining to me that all of my guy friends want to sleep with me. As if I have never experienced an unrequited crush on a friend. Bruh. It happens to us too. We just get over it instead of making up bullshit terms about it. When guys talk about a girl's looks to their buddies while in the same space. I DK if I have good hearing or if the men I've been around don't have spatial awareness. We can hear you. It's uncomfortable and not flattering. Telling me I need to smile. Making misogynistic jokes. And calling it, dark humor. That sudden demeaning tone. 100% weaponized incompetence. No one taught you. How, isn't an excuse. Don't know how to clean or pick up after yourself. Guess what? It's 2022 and YouTube or TikTok can teach you. Can't grocery shop or cook a meal. Guess what? Learning is actually a thing. Humans have been doing it since the dawn of time. Can't look after your kids? You think woman just inherited the knowledge. No. We just see what needs to be done and do it. I'm not good at it or I don't know. How's the biggest piece of BS out there? Nothing makes me resent a partner more than this. Pee on the toilet seat. Don't be like that. I'm a nice guy. The nice guy says after he asks for nudes, sexual favors. Interrupting. Cornering us. What is up with that? When I was 13 I was walking outside with a skirt on and a nicely put outfit. My general clothes are sweatpants and hoodies. The amount of boys and teachers that had told me I should dress that way more because it compliments me, was disgusting. I was walking home and had been honked at by multiple men. I still have a baby face and everything. It was clear I was young. It is disgusting. Casual misogynistic humor. Like they think it's okay because it's just a joke but I take it as a huge red flag. I'm sorry but you're just not funny dude. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.